Researchers led by the University of Maine found that the South Call Glacier has lost more than 180 feet of thickness in the last 25 years. The glacier, which sits around 7,906 m above sea level, is thinning 80 times faster than it first took the ice to form on the surface. The rate of decline has been blamed on warming temperatures and strong winds. Scientists leading the study found that since the 1990s, ice that took around 2,000 years to form has melted away. They also noted that the glacier's thick snowpack has been eroded, exposing the underlying black ice to the sun and accelerating the melting process. Dr. Mariusz Potocki, one of the study's lead researchers, said that the findings suggested that the South Call Glacier may be on the way out it may already be a relic from an older, colder time. Instead, the steady uptick in temperatures eventually pushes the glacier across a threshold, and suddenly everything changes, he said. While glacier melt has been widely studied, the impact of climate change on glaciers at this height has not previously been studied. A team of 10 scientists visited the glacier, where they installed the world's two highest weather monitoring stations and extracted samples from a 10-meter long, around 32 feet, ice core. Expedition leader Dr. Paul Majewski told that the study adds a high elevation understanding that has not previously been available and that drives home the remarkable sensitivity Earth systems have to even relatively small change. Dr. Majewski also observed that, that the rapid melting could have a wide variety of significant regional to global scale implications. Around 1 billion people depend on the Himalayan mountain range for drinking water, and if other glaciers in the region and worldwide follow Everest's example, their capacity to provide water for drinking and irrigation could fall significantly. The decline could also provide a challenge for climbers, as future expeditions to the mountain could face more exposed bedrock and ice cover, making it more difficult to climb. Dr. Matthews noted that the South Call Glacier is very small in the grand scheme of things. He told that researchers must now examine to what extent the sensitivity we've discovered here applies more widely to ice stores on the roof of the world.